talk more about Yahoo, we're joined by Larry Haverty, a portfolio manager at Gabelli Global Multimedia Trust. Yahoo is one of the firm's top holdings with 3.1 million shares of the company. He also owns shares personally, and Larry joins us now from Newton, Massachusetts. So first of all, Larry, another disappointing quarter for Yahoo. Are you starting to think that Carol's time is up? Oh, I'm not starting, uh, Emily. I've, I've been on that bandwagon for uh, 9, 12 months. Uh, the, the story keeps changing here. Uh, it, this is really the, the part of the class that makes the uh, upper part of the class possible. I can't find uh, one part of Yahoo's game that it's winning. Uh, display fell uh, short. Uh, last quarter, we uh, were told the uh, much ballyhooed search venture wasn't uh, doing particularly well. Clearly, uh, the search venture lost uh, a tremendous market share to, uh, to Google in the quarter. Uh, the, the other businesses, which used to be fee generating, uh, aren't generating fees. Uh, and uh, you, you just have a melange of businesses that uh, collectively have no momentum. Uh, and then you have uh, the, the other issues, which uh, because the basic business is valued by, so low by the market, uh, uh, the other businesses where you have these hidden assets, uh, where there's also problems, and it's like having several different diseases at the same time. Uh, the, the problems in, in the hidden assets are now well known. Uh, I read the governance section of, uh, of the proxies, and one wonders whether anyone who was watching Alibaba read the, uh, the governance uh, uh, sections, and we're in a, a, a purgatory here in terms of Alipay. What is Alipay worth? How will it be? Uh, how will it be realized? And then uh, we have this enormous value in uh, uh, Yahoo Japan, and one would think there's an investment banker somewhere on the planet who's uh, smart enough to concoct a derivative security to uh, okay. uh, release some of that value. So it, it's very, very frustrating, and I wonder where the board is, Emily. I wonder where the board so is. So, Larry, who do you think could do a better job here than Carol? Who should replace her? Well, I, I, th I have thought all along uh, uh, that uh, the logical thing was for Microsoft uh, to buy the company. Uh, we haven't seen Microsoft's uh, quarter yet. It comes out in a few days. But Microsoft has got its own form of problems in the Internet. Uh, for every dollar of sales, they're losing a dollar. And that's pretty hard to do, uh, particularly since uh, Bill Gates obviously knew that the, uh, the Internet was coming probably uh, uh, 12 to 15 years ago. And uh, th they have tried to uh, get a joint venture. I think the businesses combined uh, could make a, an awful lot of uh, progress. And Microsoft uh, does have a backdoor into uh, Jack's uh, Alibaba uh, business uh, with, with some, some joint ventures of their own. Uh, and Microsoft, it would be chump change for them to do it. Now, you, you put this whole thing there, and you, you have to also keep in mind what the price of the stock is. A dollar Larry? of cash flow under Carroll is valued around three times. That's extraordinarily low, Emily. Uh, and it's hard uh, to imagine how you can lose money from here. Hey, Larry, it's Julie here. Even if the stock is unbelievably cheap, I mean, all of what you're talking about is hypotheticals. If they were to increase a partnership with Microsoft, if they were to finally monetize somehow the Chinese and Japanese holdings, if, 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 why do you still own the stock with so many question marks and theoreticals? Well, we, we tend to be uh, very patient. Uh, uh, we turn the portfolio over in my fund uh, in the order of uh, 15 to 20 percent uh, a year. Uh, we're investors. We're, we're, not, uh, we're not traders. Uh, we are, are big believers in uh, what's going on in Asia. Uh, we're very, very excited about, uh, about the growth. Uh, uh, we have a large position in our portfolio in Asian gaming, which is doing spectacularly for us. Uh, and uh, sooner or later, uh, we, we like uh, stocks where the value of the business is much greater than the value of the stock price, and we look for catalysts. And I think the catalysts are coming here. I, I just can't see that the board can sit and watch what we are watching uh, and not do anything uh, for the shareholders. I have to think All that right. there's action coming here. All right. Larry Haverty of Gamco, thanks for your thoughts on Yahoo.